How's it going everybody? Welcome to Minecraft 1.13. Now this is the place where your textures probably aren't working. Today we're going to fix that for you. Now the problems you may be having, for instance, are textures not showing up and just showing default textures. Textures showing the untextured box being the magenta and black boxes on your textures. Or for instance, having alternating textures like for instance B00's cobblestone, which has got a few different variants only showing the cobblestone variant. Now you may have done some changes, you may actually know some of the things we're going to be doing here, but if you guys are stuck on any of those, we are definitely going to help you out on that, and we also will be helping you out on getting rid of just this little red box. If that's all you need to get rid of, we're even going to do that, and that's actually quite an easy thing to get rid of. So when we're moving over to our texture pack, let's just start off because we've got a texture pack, it's got limited amounts of blocks, and the reason for that is I'm just trying to show you exactly what we are looking for, we're not going to get too complicated in doing every single thing. You can take the same things and apply them to all your blocks. So this this over here says this resource pack was made for an older version of Minecraft and may no longer work correctly. That is fine, we'll click yes, and surprise surprise, what we'll find out is that it really doesn't do anything, it doesn't change anything, it's just looking exactly the same. Now I will tell you, I've changed a few textures, one of the textures over here is the light blue concrete powder, another one is of course B00's cobblestone, I've actually put B00's very cobblestone in here. And the other one is over here, which is the stone brick, well stone, just plain stone. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and fix up any issues we have, and there are a few different scenarios you may have. Most of them are to do with name changes, or just different ways that the game is looking for it. It's very much just a name changing thing, you're not going to have to do any crazy stuff around here. So let's go ahead and click into our resource packs folder, and we'll fix up that little red thing over there. So bring that down. Broken textures, incompatible, we'll fix that very, very quickly. So right in here, we've got our broken textures folder. We'll go in that, that's our texture folder. And we will go to this MC meta file right around here, which says pack. We'll click that and open it in whatever way you do. If you are on a Mac, you'll have your own program to do it. In Windows, Notepad is perfectly fine. And what we need to do is take that number three and change it to a number four, save this, and then close it up. Now that should be enough already to be able to move over just go out there and reload that and have this completely perfect there, not giving us any errors. Now, that's just a thing saying that. It actually is still giving us problems. And the reason it is, it's not showing it is, of course, we've just told it, don't worry about it. We got all this covered. We actually don't. So we'll go back into this. We'll open it up again. And what we are going to go is we're going to go one step further and another step further into this folder here, which is block states, fonts, lang, models. Listen, we don't need all of these. All we need to do right now is go and check out what textures we have. So first thing you will have to do, moving over to 1.13, is go click on blocks and change that blocks to just blocks. So get rid of that S and hit enter. And then the other one is on items. We're gonna click on items and we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get rid of the S on items. So we just go to item. Let's just go back in here. We'll go done, just go back to the texture pack, uh, go back to the world. And what we'll do now is we'll go and check out these textures. And also, if you guys do want this world with all these textures, uh, there is a download in the description for you. So the what we're going to do be, to be sure that we do check our textures out, we're going to go F3 and T. Now, F3 and T, if you aren't familiar with that, that is a command to reload all your textures in the game. So it actually looks at your texture pack and reloads all your textures. Now, you can see our beautiful, beautiful magenta-colored cobble, <laughs> just plain stone there. That is the texture that we chose just to show us that we've got it correct. And you can see just changing that over has fixed up the stone, but it hasn't quite fixed up over here, which is the cobblestone. And over here, which actually is a different texture, and that is the light blue concrete. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our resource packs folder over here, open resource pack folder. We're going to go through again. And what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and fix up the other blocks because the cobblestone actually seems to be working fine, but the rest aren't. So what we need to do is go into textures and go into blocks. So we've got our beautiful magenta colored stone, our concrete powder, which has actually got a little box around it, as you can see, and then the four different cobblestone variants that we've got there. Now, the problem with this co concrete powder is that the name of concrete powder has changed. In fact, a lot of items' names have changed. So if you're getting the issue that you've updated that blocks piece over here, you've updated block, and it's still not working, you've probably got a name change on some of the textures. Not all of them. I mean, stone stayed the same. Cobblestone's actually stayed the same. And if you guys don't have these other three cobblestone, that's more advanced stuff. So if you guys are stuck on something like that, I'm here to help you, but if you don't have it, don't worry about it. We're just looking at individual cases that could be arising here. So what has happened 
is the naming of concrete powder light blue is now actually going to be changed. And this is for all concrete powders. It's no longer concrete powder light blue. It is actually light blue concrete powder. So what we can do is we can just go ahead and copy that over, delete that. And then we'll go around to here at the end. Uh, can I click on that please? Do something, there we go. Must have just been clicking off it. We've got underscore and paste that there just without that underscore at the end. So now it's light blue concrete powder. And what we'll do is we'll just go back in here and reload again with F3 and T. And what we should see now is that this light blue concrete powder should load with the box. There we go. So now it's actually loading up the way it should be loading up. The reason that this happens is, as I say, they've just corrected a lot of names. For instance, oak plank, I think it's oak planks now, uh, or plank oak is now oak plank or something along those lines. But there is also a texture pack download with all the new names of stuff. I've just gone ahead and actually extracted it from the Minecraft file. And I know a lot of people aren't very familiar with that stuff. So I've just gone ahead and put a download link. These are literally the default textures from Mojang. You might just want them to be able to find them very, very easily. It's it's really not that difficult to get, but I thought I'd cut out the middleman and, and show you guys exactly what you need because hey, it makes life a little bit easier for you. So that is the light blue concrete powder fixed. You can see it in our, in our hand here as well, all fixed. Now we've only got one little thing here, which is the cobblestone. And the issue with cobblestone is because it's got multiple different textures. So let's just go around here, do this. And this is where it gets a little bit more advanced. If you guys are following, you might need to just watch this a few more times. Everything here, as far as I'm aware, are the changes that made it might've happened. If anything else does arise, just pop it in the comment section, by the way, and we should be able to get to it super, super easily. So let's go back to our resource pack folder. I know every time I'm resetting the resource pack folder, I think it's easier just for people who might not be able to see where we're going. You can see exactly where we're going here. So we're back into this one here where it says block states, models, and textures. Now you might not have all of these folders here. In fact, you might not have all the folders in everything. A lot of texture packs just change a few things and you don't need all those other blocks there. You just need the blocks you need. So what we are going to do is we're going to have a look at the blocks we do have, which are these cobblestone blocks, the textures right around there. And we've got the models and the block states, which we should have. If you've got B00's pack, you should have these two here. A lot of other packs do it as well. I'm just using his as an example, because I know a lot of you guys do use it and love it as well. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into models. And now remember when we changed the block, which said blocks, that folder to block, the issue over here is it's still looking for the block folder. So the blocks folder, sorry. So what we have to do is get rid of that S again, go control S, just save that. And whatever you've got on a Mac, we're going to do the exact same thing on a Mac. And because we've got all these different uh, these different versions of cobblestone being cobblestone 1, cobblestone 2, which should... Oh, wait, I've just gone straight back into the same one, have I? No, I've, apparently I've changed that already. Oh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. I'm, I'm going a bit, bit crazy with that one. There we go. So as I say, a lot of these are just the same sorts of things that are just arising all over the place. Because, of course, the game doesn't realize that, hey, we've changed. We, your texture packs are still the old one. We've, we've got to tell it that. So models have now changed. We'll go back in here. We'll go F3 and T to reload this one up. And give it a second. It should load up now with cobblestone textures by themselves. It's just taking a little bit of time to load. There we go. So the cobblestone texture has loaded. It's also loaded in our hand over here. And it has not loaded right down there or over there with any different textures. Now, chances are we should have a different a different texture in here. So what we need to do is we'll go back into the resource packs folder. We'll do the same thing again and go broken textures, assets, Minecraft. Now we're going to go from models where we were before. We're going to go into block states. Now for each thing which we you have, I mean, you could have more things than cobblestone. We'll go cobblestone in there and oh, we'll fix this up. <laughs> that's uh, that's obviously just a, a little thing left out there, but that's right. That's not important. So what we want to do is the first thing we want to do is change this. So what this is doing is it's, it's saying all the variants, normal variants, are the model of cobblestone with this over here. Don't worry about these numbers. This is looking in that models for a cobblestone. It's looking for this one here. So it's looking for to, to fill the model, sorry, with cobblestone, the texture. So what we want to do is now because the game had blocks, it's now got block. We're actually going to have to put that in here as well. That's another change. So it's not necessarily a naming change per se, but it is a change that does have to go in here now to be able to get this to work. So we'll just go there and we'll go and save that. And I'm not going to close this just yet because I'll show you what happens as we save it because you may have some other situations similar to this. Oh, wait, I've just gone render distance increase. I should have gone F3 and T, not F3 and F. So as we load this up, we should now get this looking for textures 
that don't actually exist because it's it's actually or well it, it it's just not finding them because it's going to reverting to this normal one right over here. So if we just remove that normal like that, we save that again. We can actually close it because this should work if all goes well. And we'll go F3 and T, and we should hopefully right now see everything working. And if this is, if I'm correct, and that should hopefully, there we go, look like some beautiful BOO textures, the way you like them. Now, there are some other textures, and what I would say is just be familiar with what textures there are. Maybe have a look around if you're having some issues. For instance, a lot of these textures might have multiple files. You might have to change up a few files. If there's anything I've missed that you guys do need help with, just pop them down. And I'm sure myself or many other people out there will be able to help you. And by the way, this could take a little bit of time, as I say, because depending on the size of your texture pack, depending on what kind of textures you have, it might take a little bit longer. So the three things to look for, the block states, the models, and the textures. And if you guys do have to watch it again, feel free to watch the video a few times, get your mind around it because it could get quite frustrating. And another thing, if you guys haven't already started, just make a backup of your texture pack if you've got one version of it. If you don't want to mess it up, maybe just make a save of that one. So as I say, links in the description for this world if you guys want it. Also for the texture pack of all the new texture names, which could come in quite handy. As I say, it's literally just the default textures. If you know how to get the default textures from your versions folder in your .minecraft folder, fantastic. You shouldn't need to download it. But if you do get stuck, that could be quite useful for you guys. So that is us for today, guys. Let me know if this has helped you. I hope it has. And I will see you in the next one.